hey hello youtube so here is my another new gadget that i have made so i call it as a audio scope so why this is audio scope is that um, you can connect any sensor to its input just like this electromagnetic coil which i have removed from transformer um, this solar panel it senses the light this senses the electromagnetic radiation this senses the light visual light and uh, this is piezoelectric sensor so basically i have these three sensors but uh, you can connect any type of sensor which gives electrical output and uh, this basically this box is a small amplifier that you can found in uh, your speakers uh, so not a big deal you can also make it uh, by yourself uh, or uh, you can directly buy one so it will be easy uh, and here is the output audio output so you can connect your earphones normal earphones and uh, you can able to hear the signals from this uh, sensors so that's that's it friends uh, but that that device is a uh, very maybe very useful for uh, electronics lovers and uh, those who uh, do with electronics um, let me show you what it can do so now i have connected my electromagnetic coil and uh, i have connected my earphones to the mic of my camera so now i'm going to turn on this device so as you can able to uh, means you can hear hearing the noise that uh, that is 50 hertz noise that is coming from the power supply right here uh, which is not in front of camera now so basically what i am i have to show you that i am holding with that distance but it is so sensitive as you can able to see the radiations that is coming from this phone so now i am going to play some music as you can see so it is lowest volume of my mobile as you can see it can able to pick up this uh, sound wirelessly so you can use it as a wireless headphones uh, and uh, second thing and rather than using as a wireless headphones only you can able to use this device as a frequency analyzer or some kind of device like that so as you can see i have used that uh, 12 volt uh, pc fan so as you can see it is pick up in that uh, radiation electromagnetic radiation that is coming from the motor of fan also you can observe that when i try to stop my fan the pulses also pulses frequency also decrease so now i am going to connect solar panel now it is connected so as you can see this fan doesn't have any lights but uh, right there on this side there is a window uh, and natural sunlight is coming so as the fan spins it, sen it senses the uh, rotations and uh, according to you are hearing the frequency now i am trying to stop the fan
as you can able to hear the frequency so if if you are going to connect uh, your uh, digital multimeter which has frequency um, measuring ability so basically you can able to also measure the speed of pan by only using this solar panel uh, now also the interesting phenomena about this pan um, that it has a light four lights in to our eyes it looks like that is a uh, means that is not flashing but uh, as you can able to hear with solar panel it looks like that they are flashing although i um, means uh, try to block the sunlight uh, it will senses the this are uh, this light so now i'm going to turn off as you can see now i have connected uh, piezo electric sensor as you can able to he see here hearing that slightest movement is very also very sensible even though i am not touching sensor Oh, by only touching wires of the sensor, you can able to hear. Also, if you put to the ground, tightly coupled to the ground, then you can make this surface as a mic. So that is very good thing to do. Also, if you put close it to the ground then you can also able to hear the footstep that uh, people are going on and making noise with it so and uh, one thing if you put it to the your close to your heart then it can also able to sense the heartbeat now i am showing my heartbeat So that's it, friends. And uh, one thing that uh, it, this sensor is very, uh, very, very powerful, and uh, it has very large sensitivity. So, and uh, that is my idea, friends. Basically, I have what I have did is uh, remove amplifier, remove the circuit from the amplifier, and uh, put it in the box and put this switch so you can turn it on manually or off and uh, right here is the LED and uh, on this side I have make an ho made a hole so here is the port for charging it has inbuilt battery of uh, 3.7 volt uh, 300 milliamps per hour although it is uh, not very very big big storage battery but this device if I put it just on and I will sense a, any sensor of it then it will last for two days two days uh, means uh, that is a very efficient circuit not not a worry so that's it friends and also one thing uh, to notice or uh, one thing I want to tell is that uh, I have just made a very simple version uh, if you want to do more with this then you can also able means uh, you can make this as a variable gain amplifier so if you want to hear the particular um, means uh, if you want to set the gain then it will be better than than a constant gain amplifier then also if you connect and tune circuit to this output then you can able to hear the particular frequencies though so that will be also a good idea in case of uh, some applications while uh, using while you are making some circuits uh, in that case uh, you can use this so and uh, 
what what is the my purpose to show you this gadget is that uh, it is just basically like an oscilloscope uh, but uh, no screen so uh, when uh, you are doing your work with electronics uh, it is uh, not uh, means uh, possible all times that uh, you are looking at your oscilloscope and uh, so seeing the readings um, by this gadget if you are making circuit and uh, if you want to just hear whether the output is coming or not then uh, it, it will be very easy because your headphones are in your ears so you don't have to look simultaneously there and uh, basically you are working and uh, you are also taking measurements by your ear uh, also one, one thing I have forgot to mention friends uh, that it is uh, this electromagnetic sensor is um, uh, very useful in our electronics case and that uh, this uh, sensor can also able to hear the flow of electrons so let me show you uh, now first I will show you uh, what happens if I do not connect the load and then I will show you what happens if I connect the load of these fans so let me turn it on so as you can see now now I am removing the load now it just the sense, senses the 50 hertz noise from my adapter if I connect this power uh, fans load as you can able to hear uh, the means the load given to that wire so basically it is also acting as a analog clamp meter it, no, it is not giving you the readings but it, it can help you to indicate whether the power is going through that wire or not now as you can see power is going from that direction to this so if you connect to if you are going to connect to this wire then you can not able to hear anything then if you are going to connect to this wire you can able to hear noise so uh, that is my idea friends uh, hope you like my idea and uh, if you have any queries or uh, suggestions so, so I am always ready to hear your voice please go to comments and uh, post it down and uh, hope you enjoy my video thanks um, for seeing my video and uh, subscribe to stay in updated with me so goodbye friends